This is Big Boy Construction. I'm Jimmy Reardon, and the others in my group are Nate Boson, Cameron Ott, and Nick Sims. So we're focusing on Arizona. There are about 300 days of sunshine, sunshine per year, and this helps with 30% of the total costs can be deducted from federal taxes. So you're actually saving money here, and I'm gonna, we're gonna get into why. So the first customer we interviewed was Austin. He lives in West Phoenix and he has a balcony, which is good for our first, first design. But the only thing he's scared of is that it's going to be too expensive. The second customer is Mark. He's in a single story ranch styled home. He's retired, so he's actually a good customer for us. We think he will, it, this will benefit him in the long run. Josh was the third one located in Tempe. He loves to go outside by the pool every morning, spends time golfing and hiking, but due to the location of this home, Josh wants to, he does want to capitalize on the sun's energy. And our fourth was Patrick. He lives in a two story home he also has a balcony, which is good. We just have to convince him to actually be a part of our team. So design one is a pretty simple structure. It consists of um, two two by six treated beams and eight two by four treated rafters uh, that creates a pergola type structure with uh, four by four treated columns. So our calculations for design one on the left-hand side of the screen, um, those, that beam shown is a rafter. Um, so it's about 60 pounds per panel. And then um, it's evenly distributed. And our shear is about negative 20.5, bendings um, 56.25, and the deflection comes out to be a very long, or a very long decimal and short deflection. The second beam is um, a beam. It's a 16 foot beam. Um, so you take into account the weight of the panels as well as the um, two by fours. And that is distributed across the beam. And the shear is about 119.2. Bending is 467.8 and the deflection is another long decimal about 0 0.00016 inches. Um, for the column design, it's a four by four treated column and the allowable pounds is 5,950 pounds. So the estimate um, consists of the four by four treated lumber, the two by sixes, the two by fours. So those total out to about $78, $48, $75. The concrete is an optional addition that would anchor the, the two by fours or the four by fours into the ground. The screws would hold the um, members together and the solar panels um, which is six panels and it's $350 per panel. And then the labor is $800. So we have an overhead of 12% and the total comes out to $3,632. For design two, we utilize two steel beams and five rafters. This porch is connected to an existing building already in place and the columns can either be anchored to the existing building below or they can be put into small like concrete footings. The steel is four by 13. The calculations for design two, the shear is negative 36, the bending is 90, and the deflection is very little because we use heavy and thick steel. Uh, for the bending, we calculated the bending stress 
and then utilize the factor of safety to find the allowable weight, which was 68,940 pounds. Design to estimate, we use Wheeler metals to find the cost of the steel, the bolts, nuts, washers, and the optional concrete and solar panels. The solar panels came from Gro Go Green Solar, the concrete's from Home Depot. Uh, the cost of the material, the bare material and the steel around $950, plus the bolts were $165. The solar panels were $2,100 for all six panels. And then for the rentals, for the SkyTrack boom lift, for the labor, which included welder labor and uh, three men, was $144, $140, and $1,800. Along with our 12% overhead, comes to a total of $6,043. All right, so for our savings uh, analysis for the first design with solar panels, we have the total cost of structure. This number, $1,532.62, comes from the total cost of the estimate minus the solar panels. And then we have the solar panels at $2,100. And then we have um, the installation, $12,000, which was a medium average cost in Arizona from energysave.com. And then we have monthly bills coming out at $30, which was from Solar Savings Estimator on Google. And then the total cost after one year with all of those added up with the monthly bills multiplied by 12, you get $15,992.62 for your total cost after one year. And then below that, we have the total cost after 11 years and then 21 years. And then comparing it to the design one without the solar panel, we have the total cost of the structure coming from, which is that same number. And then we don't have solar panels. And then we have the installation, which is $2,115, which is from uh, a calculation of cost of approximately 105 feet at $20 per foot of uh, wiring. And then we have the monthly bills of $180 a month, which is my personal monthly electrical bill here in Tempe. And then that comes out to being $5,807.62 after one year. And then we have the cost after 11 years below that, and then 21 below that. And the total return of investment after 21 years comes out to be $25,815 if you were to go with the solar panels. And then for design two, we have the total cost of the structure, which was from the estimate of design two, taking out the cost of the solar panels, which was $2,100. And then we have that same $12,000 uh, installation cost with the same $30 uh, monthly bill. And then adding all those up and then along with the $30 times 12 months, you get $18,403.16 for your first year. And then below that, you have your cost, total cost after 11 years and then 21 years below that. And then um, for design two, without the solar panels, we have that same total cost of structure from the estimate. Um, and then we have the installation, which was that same number, $2,115 and then 180. And then we have that added up with the 180 multiplied by 12, you get 8,218 and 16 cents. Then below that we have the cost after 11 years and then 21 years. And the return on investment after 21 years comes out to be the same as design one, but you just have a little more uh, of an expensive design, but it comes out being the same as uh, $25,815 if you were to choose our uh, solar Ramada for our second design. And that uh, concludes our presentation. Thank you.